peripheral arterial disease, also known as PAD. That is the buildup of cholesterol plaque along the walls of the artery supplying the lower extremities. This causes different symptoms. The first symptoms we see in patients are that they have what's called claudication, which is pain, tightness, or tiring of muscles after you walk a certain distance. And depending on where the vessels narrowed, it can affect different muscles. So sometimes people will have pain in their buttocks, sometimes in their thigh, sometimes in their calf muscle when they walk a block or two. In more severe cases, if the blood flow is more compromised, people can start having pain and numbness and tingling in their feet at rest when they're not even moving. And in more advanced cases, you might even have some tissue loss, like an ulcer in one of your toes or even gangrene. The treatment of this PAD is to restore blood flow to the lower extremity. And there's both minimally invasive techniques, which I perform, as well as open surgical techniques, which are done by a vascular surgeon. The minimally invasive techniques using catheters, which are little tubes, we navigate through the bloodstream under x-ray guidance and inject dyes so that we can see under the x-ray guidance. And then we go and open up the artery with different kinds of miniaturized tools. One of them is called an angioplasty balloon. It's a balloon that goes and stretches open the artery and it pushes the plaque to the side so that you can have normal blood flow through the area. Now sometimes that's not effective and we'll leave in what's called a stent, which is a tubular metal mesh-like device. And that actually holds the artery open and pushes the plaque to the side. There's another type of procedure called atherectomy, where a device goes in and removes the plaque from the body. And it might do that by shaving it off, kind of like a cheese cutter, or it may put a little tiny burr, like a drill bit burr that spins so fast that it pulverizes the particles. Sometimes we'll inject some clot busting medications, that's called thrombolysis. Now, let's say that I can't restore blood flow with minimally invasive techniques. In that situation, you may need to have open surgery. So you go to the operating room and there a vascular surgeon can do a couple different procedures. One is called endarterectomy where they actually cut out the cholesterol plaque and remove it. And the other is bypass surgery where a tube, which can either be a synthetic tube that's ordered as a product from a shelf or you can use your body's own pipe, so to speak, like using a vein, and you bypass the blocked off area. The bypass is done from an open vessel past the closed area to the next open vessel. But that's done by a vascular surgeon in the hospital in an operating room and it's a much bigger procedure than the previous minimally invasive techniques that I talked about.